Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Triangulation is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Triangulation with Tom Merritt and Leo Laporte. Episode 43, recorded March 7th, 2012. Scott E. Jordan. Triangulation is brought to you by Pond5, the world's stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker who needs stock video clips, photos, illustrations, music tracks, or sound effects, check out Pond5 for instant downloads at the best prices anywhere. Pond5.com. And for 25% off this month, use the offer code TWIT25. And by Vast Conference, the ultimate in professionalism, clarity, and flexibility for your conference calls, all at a low price. For two Vast Conference calls free with no commitment, visit vastconference.com and use the offer code TRIANGULATION. Welcome to TRIANGULATION, the show where Tom Aaron and I form two legs of the tripod and we focus our attention on the third... Like Voltron. <laughs> like Voltron. Tom and I have had a long day. We started at 9.30, uh, actually 9, really, with the iPad announcement. Uh, I did Mac Break Weekly, you did TNT, but we are glad to be here uh, at the uh, tail end of the day. The sun's gone over the yard arm. That means it's time to say hello to Scott E. Jordan, a dear old friend. Hey, Scott. How's it going, Leo? Scott is the founder of Scott E. Vest, and you know, we've, I can remember going back to the screensavers when oh, we, yeah. we had geek fashion shows and... You know, it really isn't that much geek fashion, so it was pretty much a Scott Evest show. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun. You've been doing these uh, tech, this tech line of clothing, this uh, technology-enabled clothing for how long now, Scott? Eleven years. Wow. Before there was an iPod, when people had to carry around their disc, the disc man. So that's kind of amazing because really, this stuff is designed for carrying gadgets. And, boy, the, the world has come your way because we all carry a bunch of crap now. You've had to add a lot it, more pockets. You know, it's interesting because you remember uh, a day not so long ago that, you know, they talked about convergence and that there would be no need for, you know, ah. multiple pockets. And, ah. yeah, con convergence has come. I mean, my our, all our iPhones can do a lot of other things. But, you know, right here I've got, like, all my gadgets, gizmos, cords, MiFi, and extra, you know, uh, attachments and accessories. I mean, they're, they're, it has not impacted us, um, convergence. How would you get into the uh – did you grow up in the clothing trade? Nope. I was a lawyer and frustrated with carrying all my – and a gadget guy and frustrated with carrying all my gadgets, um, especially in a business casual environment. I was traveling back and forth to Princeton, New Jersey from Chicago and just fumbling around. And you know, my wife, as I handed her all my stuff to carry as we went on a hike and said, well, why don't you invent like something to carry it all? And I looked at travel vest and – photo vest and safari vest. They have all these bulky exterior pockets and thought there's got to be a better way and uh, came up with this concept of designing clothing that carries stuff but doesn't look like it does. And that's how we ended up with the Scotty vest. If you go to the... Actually... Truth, truth be told, and this is going to get interesting, I mean, I never had any intention of making a single garment. I just, the, the, the bigger concept was technology-enabled clothing and, you know, the wiring and clothing and the patent related thereto. And I had just intended to license this concept. Oh, that's to, to, I mean, just like Gore-Tex, Velcro, Teflon is an ingredient brand to other clothing companies. And what I discovered was it took many years to get a patent issued and uh, the people in the apparel industry simply aren't interested in um in, in licensing a patent um as it related to apparel they just for some reason apparel doesn't think that patents apply to them and and they clearly do but um so while i was waiting for the patent issue i formed an awkwardly named company at that time scott evest uh as a proof of concept and lo and behold, Scotty Vest took off primarily um, as a result of my early use of, uh, you know, blogging and uh, you know interactions with customers directly. We were the first brand, apparel brand, formed on the internet 11 years ago. Now, Scotty Vest has done quite well, but you still are hoping that tech, TEC, would would end up becoming the the bigger business for you, right? 
That's exactly right. I mean, and I, I and I believe that it's a much bigger opportunity than Scotty Vest. Um, Scotty Vest is a niche market, a you know, a market that I, I believe is is massive, perhaps as large as several hundred, if not you know, uh, multiple hundred million dollars. I mean, you look at a company like Lululemon, who's turned it into a billion dollar business, or um, Card Heart has made construction clothing cool. Um, I think making gadget and travel clothing can be a, a, a multi hundred million dollar brand. But technology-enabled clothing as a whole, as you apply my concepts and uh, to not just the patent, but the you know the, the weight management system, the clear touch fabric, uh, all the features and benefits that, that we've learned to incorporate into the Scotty Vest line into other clothing lines, you would it can be much much larger and much more lucrative, and that, and that's my dream. And um, I know we're going to start talking a little bit about you know you know Shark Tank, and that's what you know what, what I, that's the business I pitched for Shark Tank. So, what was the patent? What is the tech? I'm looking on the USPTO, and I'm trying to find the patent for for tech. Right, because we see a lot of uh, not clothing, not just clothing, but backpacks and things that can string wires. Uh, are those infringing, or are they different implementations? What they're, what they're is your different imp- and my patent is the incorporation of third-party wires. That means wires that you bring into a garment. They're not included in the garment themselves because um, there's a hoodie buddy that puts the actual wires into the, the strings. It, the incorporation of third-party wires into clothing and management of those wires. And it's not just headsets. It's also power as well. You know, um, you, you know, our our products are used for military purposes, and you can imagine that if your cell phone dies in a in a business situation, it's aggravating. If your uh, communication die, device dies when you're on the battlefield, and you need a, a manner of recharging it and doing so um, uh, seamlessly, you know, it, it it can be life or death. So, you know, from a consumer basis, it's really just it's just you know for the time being, you know, for headphones. And when did you get the patent finally issued? Because you said it took quite a while. Oh God, what a <laughs> long and point path this was. I mean, I, I you know, I, I could I could talk for an hour just about the, the issuance of the patent and the problems we had with it. Um, you know, we we filed the provisional. Um, you know, in uh, I think 2001, and then we went from a provisional to a USPT uh, or, or the form a PCT application, which is you know a, an application that is good for easier to bring overseas. And then my lawyer, a new, another lawyer, looked at it and said that's dumb. Let's go to the USPTO. Let's do a normal patent. Got the got the original patent uh, issued. I think it might have been God 2006. Somewhere around there, that and then that I'm, recently, really, you know, wow. it might be 2000. Or you're looking at I me. Mean, there's been so many iterations that it's been, and it uh, it cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, so you know, this is not a simple procedure. You know, from the beginning to end. So got the original patent issue without any comments to it whatsoever, which is rare. Usually, you know, a patent there's some back and forth with the patent office, and you've got to amend your claims. They just said that looks perfect. You know, they look for prior art. We submitted prior art. I I fully expected there to be something that would come up for a patent that on its face seems perhaps so simple. I'm not going to use the word obvious, but I'll use the word simple. You know, incorporating wires in clothing and managing those wires. Right, because the patent it has to be not obvious, so you don't want to use that word. <laughs> that's exactly right. So, um, so then we got we got it issued, and then I started sending out letters um, to to companies that I thought were infringing on it, and they got back to me saying, "Well, we don't think we're infringing because X, Y, and Z." And I turned to my attorneys and I said, "Dude, do I have something here, or what's going on? I spent all this money getting this patent." And now I'm told that, you know, and they said, well, uh, they kind of have a point. And and I said, well, what are we, what am I supposed to do? And they said, well, you know, we can go through this process called a reissuance. So I, I said, what is that? He's like, it's pretty much a mulligan. <laughs> do over. Like, it's, a, it's a freaking do it. Do you lose a stroke? Any, no. <laughs> I mean, it's basically saying, you know, my attorney screwed up. Oh, that, man. That, uh, oh, that that so you you basically reapply you rewrite the claims in a fashion that takes into account 
the information. So we did this reissuance process and then we got the patent reissued. And shortly after that, this is maybe uh, 2008 or, or thereabouts. And, uh, you know, I said, okay, great. What do I do now? The whole industry is basically knocking me off. Right, right. And I, 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 at this point, eight years later, I hired a law firm and um, we we filed suit against the the 27 you know largest companies, including you know North Face oh, wow. and you know, among others. And it, again, not inexpensive. I wasn't trying just to get licensing, you know, trying to get like a, a, a patent troll would just go out just to cause problems. I wanted to create licenses, you know, and create a business relationship and, and, and show them the benefits of the pocket system and not just, you know, how to put a wire in and out and how to manage wires, but the full blown thing. And, um, make a long story short, uh, I settled for a, a not significant sum of money with all of uh, most of these defendants. Um, I, I think you could say a, a fairly insignificant mm -hmm. sum of money, all told, you know, just to create, you know, you know, goodwill and, and move forward and and not to, you know, it wasn't worth a great deal of money because as others would point out, you know, you could remove a loop and now not, uh, you know, or a feature and then just go straight from a pocket to, to the headset. Right. And, right. And, and, you know, it's not uh, it's it's the full package of what technology and naval clothing does, which is so much more than just a patent. So get this litigation's over, settled with everyone. Bingo. I get a letter. The patent office has gotten an anonymous request to reexamine my patent. Uh. I just flat out re-examine, completely re-examine the, the patent. And no one, I didn't know who, who made this proposal. It wasn't clear. They, they don't have to identify themselves, completely anonymous. Go through the whole re-examination process, revealed some more prior art that we discovered as a result of the litigation, and got a re-examined patent, which now, this is rock solid. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, so you say. <laughs> it's yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. You know, was but, your um, was your degree in in IP law? I mean, was this no, your no? Okay. No. And if you were to read this, Leo, you're a smart guy. If you were to read this, uh, the patent, it, it is hard to, to – it's hard to read. A layman, right. as a lawyer, a trained lawyer, it's using one panel and going through another. It's hard to – Well, I can show follow. you. I mean, like, so you were talking about the – this is the touch stuff, so I could put a phone in here and I could still uh, touch it in there. In fact, I've got a couple of those. and I mean, this, is, this thing has pockets in its pockets, uh, literally. It's, uh, and everyone's designed in a fashion not to layer with the next one. And a lot of that stuff is not proprietary. Yeah. Oh, well, I like engineer. it that you're labeling it now, too. So those say have glasses on them. This is for a camera. I mean, you could put anything you want in it, obviously. Here's the personal area network wiring goes through here. So you think a lot. You actually have to put a lot of thought into how this. Well, if you go to the front page of the Scotty vest, uh, I don't believe that. But it says you are wearing this vest. You look slender and, and skinny. Look at all the crap you got in there. An iPhone, an iPad, a passport, a camera, pen. I mean, uh, it's it's out of control, all that stuff you got in there. So, And that's the layering you were talking about. That's not an easy thing to do. Sunglasses. No, and we learned a lot off. about that, too. The first version that we came out with, you know, we just threw, threw pockets everywhere. Just uh, there's right. space through a pocket. But now if you were to put, you know, uh, I don't know if, if you can see, you put something in one pocket and put something in the internal pocket, they're not going to knock up against each oh, other. That's interesting. The you only know, complaint, like, and you probably hear this all the time, and is that there's so I can, I can lose stuff in here. There's so many pockets. My phone oh, yeah. ring, and I'll go. I know it's in here somewhere. Well, it's just like your desk. You just have to decide where you're going to put it. I need to be a little it, more orderly. There yeah. Every time. And, and and the fact is, with you, Leo, you don't travel that much. I'm not the you know? I'm not the guy. Yeah. You're not using it all the time. Yeah. Well, Gary yeah. Arndt. We were talking about Gary Arndt. He was on uh, Twit Photo yesterday. He's the guy who has no home. Because he's he's a travel uh, photographer that is always on the road. He swears by your stuff. In fact, he was telling us, you know, he has a big, uh, uh, Kate, uh, you know, camera bag that he carries. And and Catherine said, how do you get that on the plane? He said, there's only the only airline that really cares and weighs stuff is New Zealand. Said, but I just take it, put it in my Scotty vest. I can take out lenses, put it in the Scotty vest, and then and Alex Lindsay says the same thing. He'll wear he'll wear, go through the with the Scotty vest, and you just take it off. You put it on the conveyor belt. That's fine. 
and uh, they don't weigh your coat because nobody thinks you have a 30 pound <laughs> coat and you just you just go right on not that i'm trying to take any planes down but there's some real advantage to this we're talking to scott jordan he is the founder of scott evest you were on shark tank last week you've been in a kind of a, a verbal duel with mark cuban over it uh, ever since on twitter i think you buried the hatchet I tried to. And is um, back. But we're going <laughs> to we'll talk about that in uh, just a little bit. And Steve Wozniak uh, called and, and made some. Steve's a big fan of Scotty Vest, and he made some good suggestions to Scott. Before we talk about that, I'd like to talk about one of our uh, great sponsors. Uh, it's a company that we use all the time when we do conference calls. Vastconference.com. Take a look at this. Vastconference.com. It uses uh, fiber optics. They use very high-quality networks to give you really high-quality uh, audio uh, uh, phone conferencing for as many as 300 people. You can host your call. You can record your conference call. You can record any individual caller on the call, so you have different recordings for each person. You don't have to make a reservation ahead of time. In fact, when you sign up for a vast account, I want you to do that right now, by the way, using the offer code TRIANGULATION. When you sign up for a vast account... You'll get two numbers. You'll get a regular uh, long-distance number and an 800 number. And you can use either number. It's up to you to make the vast conference call. So you just give out the number. That's your personal number, and the conference call begins. In fact, if you use the offer code triangulation right now, you get, what is it, 300 minutes? I think it's 300 minutes uh, free to try it out. Now, each, you know, each person uses minutes, so you could have, I don't know, uh, two calls with 20 people or whatever. But, but it, you've got to try this out. It's just fantastic. Um, the set, the quality of the call is in really good, and uh, uh, I, it's very easy to set up. And I really have to say, I love the ability to record these calls, make notes. You can add people's names so you know who you're talking to. Uh, I would show you the call manager, but it's got all our calls in it. And I did that last time. I did that. <laughs> uh, I, people got mad at me. So <laughs> two and a half cents a minute, and there's no minimum. You don't buy stuff ahead of time. You just get billed for what you use. Uh, if you want to do toll free, three and a half cents a minute, and that's really nice. If you're calling a, you know, a conference with uh, with a client, you don't want to make them pay for it. Uh, so you give. Them and you want to look number. professional. You want to look like you have a conference center instead of just saying, exactly. hey, Let me hook you up with a. Now yeah. I got a forward. Free and conference call dot com. Yeah. No, uh, uh-uh. vastconference dot com. Use the offer code triangulation for three hundred free minutes. You don't have to take our word for it. We love to we love to use these. Uh, uh, services uh, and get them set up for you so you can try them before you buy them. Uh, we're talking with Scott Jordan, Scott E. Vest. Scott is giving us a little coupon code. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it out here. So if you go to S-C-O-T-T-E-V-E-S-T, scottevest.com slash twit, you'll see a whole bunch of new items. And if you use the offer code, is this on any of the new items? Twit Shark. You get anything, off. anything on the site, everything, everything on the site. This is the new uh, transformer jacket you were talking about. It's got magnets in the sleeves. You just, it's kind of. Did like- you did you see my my the yeah commercial for that uh, that well, we did? It's hilarious. I did a keynote a keynote style, um, uh, like just like Steve Jobs did, does when he introduces a new product. Yeah. Uh, and uh, stood up there. It was it was. It was very respectful. It, Waz loved it. Um, I don't know if, if, if it's coming up or the, not. Is it on the website? Where is it? It should be. It should be if you go to Transformer, the, go to the, the top nav and uh, look for the Transformer. Jacket. Okay, here we go. And there's like a, it should be a mini site. And, um, and we, we do it just exactly the way, you know, Apple would introduce a, a new product. Um you can hear the sound when it clicks. And Are you getting sound from my uh, computer? Who's running the board back there? I can't see. Gary doesn't know how to do that. All uh, right. 20 pockets. And I love the x-ray views you do on here. Um, the magnet sleeve system. You don't have don't the magnets. You've got magnets in your pockets, too. They're not, they don't cause problems with the... Uh, nope. No, it, they will if you with the hotel key cards, but yes. not, not. Yes, that's so funny. But, but I, your cell phone. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, anything will because those things have they get demagnetized by if you look at them. That's the sound. Look at listen to that. That's funny. As they click together. <laughs> In stereo, ladies and gentlemen. 
So I don't see the video here. Go to watch. It's a if you if you go oh go to scottyvest.com slash watch. Yeah. I think well a, no if you look in the uh, oh, in the subnet oh, up at the top. Oh what am I thinking of? What am I there. thinking of? That'll take. Oh you this is all oh look at that. And the, yeah, look at that. You got the videos. I'm now see there's two. You oh, got, no 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 no. Do you have, there, I know I know but I want to see this too. You have too many. Okay. What do you have? Eight hundred web developers. How, You'd be surprised. <laughs> no I wouldn't. We've been developing a site and I look at all the features you've got. Look at that. He's just taking. If you could make tear-off clothing like that, I would, uh, you know, if I break away pants, that would be great. We're working on pants. The NBA, <laughs> but go to that, that, go the one that on the left there. there, this is it? Yeah. It's way too long to watch it for the whole thing, but just get a feel for it. That's so funny. Scott, really, you did a whole bunch of these with um, Wozniak. With Woz. Yeah, but. Technology enabled clothing for over 10 years. We have grown immensely over this past year. More than doubled the number of employees <laughs> and had our biggest nice. sales year ever. Inc. <laughs> Magazine the fastest growing companies in America. An internet retailer included this is all in the Hot 100 list yeah, of top of course. online companies. That's funny. Yeah, we've I kicked some asses say, last night. That's good. I didn't. You doubled your employees. Watch how I put my hands. I, I really <laughs> you worked practiced. on this. Did you have a trainer? Oh. Like a, no, I t this was my second take, and I, I nailed it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, it was... I, you'll see, and then, it, and then at the very end, is that that's not all. Whatever you know, the one key more phrase. Thing, one more thing. One yeah. more thing. Yeah. That's you so know. funny. So, so one let more me show. Thing. All right, as long as we're showing video, I don't know. Can you pull up uh, there? That's that's a <laughs> part of the Waz episodes. Can, yeah, the Waz <laughs> stuff. Oh my God, these are so funny. These Waz episodes. The need for the gadget dance. No, it's impossible. Okay. Because every gadget has a place. Don't consider a career dude, as an actor. I just want to say. Dude. <laughs> Dude, this is my laser pointers. You found everything in your Scotty. All right. Can you show my computer? Thank you. So I want to show another bit of video. This just happened last week. This is uh, oh, there we this go. is this is uh, Scott on uh, an ABC show. You're not getting audio. Uh, they're running around right now behind the scenes. Only tested in litigation, but recently now, re examined it even better. And past re wait a minute, wait a minute. I got, I got, I got, oh, you still got, I got the other you, one going. You talking, okay. You still got Steve, Stevie Jobs. Stevie, 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 Stevie Jordan. So basically, the patent is attributable to the wires. That's right. Only the wires. That's Mark Cuban. For example, this pocket here has a hole in it. I call him the up through here. billionaire bully. He is. Okay, I'm not going to say the word, but I can't say it in polite company. But well, I, feel I don't like have what, the highest opinion of that fellow. I feel like what he was doing on this episode was at, grinding his own axe about patents, which mostly his his objections mostly relate to software. Right. Uh, I, right. I don't think and you're a patent. good example of what he's talking about. But he wanted he wants to get his message out there about how he wants patent reform, and and you got caught in his way. So let's talk about what Shark Tank is. It's a it's a reality show. Mark Burnett created it. Uh, he's the guy who did Idol, right? He does all these realities. No, Survivor. 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 Survivor yeah. And uh, and it was based on an, a Canadian show called Dragon's Den. The idea is somebody with an idea comes and pitches it to venture capitalists. And then at the end of this, if they like it, they'll make you an offer. Is that kind of how it works? That's exactly right. Was this all in one take? Did they edit it up like crazy to make it look conflict and stuff? or? Well, you know, it, it was a, I was in the tank, as you say, about uh, about an hour. And uh, my segment that aired was about 20 minutes. Most segments that air are about six to eight minutes. So mine was three times as long as any other segment that's ever been uh, on the show. So one in three minutes that I was in there appeared. So they get to choose. I mean, it's part of the way it works. It's reality TV. They, they want to create good TV, and they get to choose the one-third of the minutes that's going to sell the most right. airtime. And so they choose the yeah. conflict, right? They choose Mark and you kind of go. Going at it, yep, yeah, yep. But well, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. There were, you know, the two thirds of the minutes that they didn't air. There was a, quite a bit of conflict. There was a lot of a lot for them to choose from. Um, <laughs> what you know, were you? What? I, so were you battling? Did he think that you didn't deserve a patent for your uh, clothing, or what was the deal? He, you know, he, he he did not think that any patents that related to wires and clothing uh, made any sense. He told me he could kick my ass and came at me. Um, <laughs> he, he, he really did. He says he's he, you know, he, his idea was well, I'll embed low power Bluetooth in the shoulder of garments. And I'll just kick your ass. And I was, dude. He was later interviewed. It was hilarious on on a podcast. I have him. 
him interviewed saying that his sole desire was to make me cry. <laughs> on, on on Shark Tank, and he just kept coming at it. I didn't know what 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 um, why he hated me so much. No. I didn't do my research. It's the I job. It's the job. He's they they hire him. They tell him. They say, okay, Mark, here's your job. Make him cry. Be even more Mark Cuban yeah. than usual. Yeah, yeah, because he's he makes me cry, and I don't even know him. But uh, you know, I I have to say that you're on a reality show. You you should expect that kind of treatment. You weren't surprised, were you, Scott? No, I, I absolutely wasn't surprised. I, I think I was more surprised about the aftermath than anything else. You know, I, I was I was a big boy. I was ready for it. I, I stood in the tank. I think I held my own. I was respectful, um, although some people don't think I was. I, I, you know, at the end, I you know, I, I maybe by pointing at two sharks and telling them where they were out, you know, wasn't appreciated. Um, <laughs> You got to, Leo, you got to watch it. It is, you know, watch it beginning. The only thing on Hulu is two minutes, 41 seconds. So it's just a little. Oh, uh, it's on iTunes. I'll, or, I'll download uh, the whole ABC, show. I'll download the whole show. ABC.com, the whole show's there yeah. too. Okay. So, you know, Mark, uh, Mark Cuban was definitely after the idea of patents and saying, oh, I think yours is obvious. And I think that wireless is going to come and blow you away. He may anyway, not even think that. Et cetera, That's et cetera, et cetera. TV. Right. The other two. We're really wanting a piece of your retail business. Now, you avoided ever saying the name Scotty Vest. You never talked about Scotty Vest. And you, other than giving them a few numbers about how well Scotty Vest was doing, you said, no, the, the retail business is off the table. Kind of explain, because you couldn't explain it in the show, why that was. Well, it's interesting. Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but the, in the very last um, frame uh, uh, of the credits, there's this, two lines that say, you know, the producers, ABC, Mark Burnett and Sony um, have get a share of the business or the revenue stream of the business for wow. the products that are pitched. And no one really focuses on that. So, you know, because Scotty Vest is a, an ongoing, very lucrative, profitable business that doesn't need investors, I didn't pitch Scotty Vest. But now, tech, do, do they get know, a cut even if they don't accept your bid or only if they if they get an automatic cut? Um, I'm subject to a confidentiality okay, agreement. Right. They, but, it's my um, understanding that they get an automatic cut, but I may be wrong. So, but I, any, I'm not going to. You can't Leo, correct me. I, I can't. I, I can't. I, I can't say you're wrong. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> you can't say I'm right, so, but you can't say I'm wrong. So, I mean, basically, uh, you, when you stand so on you that stage, so it, is it, it isn't like free you, publicity. Do you think yeah, that right. they? Of course not. But do you think that they like are hoping? I hope he mentioned Scott Evest. I hope he mentioned Scott Evest. I hope he mentioned Scott Evest. I mean, is it like that? Like they're saying, if he only mentions that, we could get our 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 little hooks into him. You know, I honestly don't. I, I, I'm not that cynical because I I don't think that it's a that the producer. Yeah, I, you know, I don't think if you, you know, the the cat drawing guy, this guy went on and he does sells cat drawings for ten dollars a piece. I don't think Mark Burnett cares about getting a piece of that right, business. Right. Most of the businesses that are on the show, he probably doesn't even, you know, exercise that right. But I'll bet you Talbot Tees that just got acquired by Jamba Juice, you know, I, I'll bet you, you know, that they were pretty interested in that. Um, and I, you know, in, in my case with, with, with Scotty Vest, I, you know, I, I suspect that I, I was very concerned that if I made a counter offer that included Scotty Vest, that I, I, I know this for a fact that I would then in effect owe them be offering Scotty Vest. Right. And, and if I was without even mentioning the name, right, then, then it became subject to this provision. That's so, weird. So, so did I think they make it would make interesting TV if they would make that more obvious. If they, if everyone who watched that show said that that entrepreneur who steps up there on that stage, you know, is, is giving something up to do that. That right. that not only are they potentially making a fool of themselves, as many people do. Perhaps I did. I I don't know. I'll let the viewing public be the judge. But but they they, they also have to give this well, up. They, they, they were very reasonably say, saying, look, you know. Tech sounds really interesting, but your retail business is doing really well. I want to cut of that, of course, right? Uh, and you, what were you pitching? You were pitching investment in the tech patent. Well, no, tech is a, is actually a separate company. Ah. It, it is a, a, a company incorporated on its own. It, it's, it's a wholly owned subsidiary of Scotty Vest, and tech not only owns the patent rights, but it has the intellectual property associated with a brand name, which is a registered trademark, technology-enabled clothing, which in 
three simple words tells people what is unique and different about that product. And our belief is just like when you see a product branded with Gore-Tex, you understand that right. it's waterproof and breathable. You right. see a product branded with technology-enabled clothing, you now know it's designed to, to accommodate your gadgets. And in addition, it's a three-prong approach. It's the intellectual property for the patent. It's the brand name. And it's the, the, the intellectual know-how and consulting on how to design pockets in a fashion that allow you to carry things without weight being an issue, without bulges and all the things that we've learned in designing pockets for 11 years. Now, why couldn't you say to them, well, of course you want a piece of my retail business, but if I bring that into this, then I have to give the show a cut, and I don't want to do that. It, was that against the rules? Because I, I kept wanting, like, yeah, but you idiots, I can't say that. Right. I, you know, that's a really good question. I, I, I've watched the, the episode again, and I've actually did a, a, an hour-long commentary DVD style of me explaining what was edited out. It's on YouTube for everyone to watch if they, they're interested. you got to be really interested to watch it. It's Inside Baseball. Anyone who's seriously interested in Shark Tank and who's a fan would love it because you're going to hear a lot of interesting things. But um, I knew if I said that, it would get edited out. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, and I just had to I, I assumed that the sharks knew that I couldn't say it because they would not allow me to say this name. The fact is, is that the moment I walked out there on stage after I gave my pitch, Robert says to me, wait a second, I've heard of this company. I've read about this company. I can't remember where, you know. Um, and he went on and on about how fabulous this company was. And, you know, I heard about it in Men's Journal and I see it advertised in the New York Times. And aren't you on the Inc.'s fastest growing list? And I said, yes, that's my retail company, which is not what I'm offering here today. But that does prove the concept of how technology enabled clothing can elevate any other brand, you know, to 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 allow it to to address the concerns of a mobile mobile marketplace or mobile consumer. Now, if you weren't on a reality show uh, at the time and subject to all of these extraneous circumstances, if you were just meeting with venture capitalists, is it something you would entertain to say, well, maybe we can we can negotiate the retail side oh. of it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, you know, I, I, I was just in Silicon Valley last year. I, I visited with Leo during the visit. I visited with Excel Partners who, who funded Facebook and, uh, you know, um, and uh, Lightspeed who funded Bonobos. And, uh, you know, the, you know, the presentation there included both companies. I, uh, there's a reason for that, though. I mean, I, you know, by merely talking about it to them, I did not have to yeah. give them a piece of their company. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> it's logical. It. <laughs> yeah, I could. You know, I, you know, the funny thing is, is that not only did I feel like I was in there with one arm tied behind my back as it related to not talking about Scotty Vass, but my other elbow was broken two days earlier. And I, 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 I had a sling that I took off. So you'll watch me. I can barely move it. Oh, and take you mean literally? You're, you're literally. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> it was wow. literally. So there was a point where I got to take the jacket off and let Robert try it on, and he's pulling all his stuff out, and you know, it, and they really, and there, none of those product shots and those features got got really referenced. And I think the audience walked away not having a full understanding because they kept saying, "Oh, the Sharks just realized that you know Scott is only pitching an interest in the patent, you know, and and it, no, it's it's a brand. I mean, you can imagine you know tech for children, tech for streetwear tech for business wear unrelated to, to scotty vest i mean it, it, it is mass potential well especially if we get to nanotech and uh and all oh, that. we're doing that yeah. yeah yeah well let's talk about that and i want to find out if you got an offer but we'll we'll do more we'll do more and what was said when you when you talk to him uh before before the show we're talking with scott jordan who we've known this has been an old friend of the of the twit in fact he's made twit hats for us twit uh, love our twit uh uh, fleeces that, uh, and there's so, all sorts of stuff. And he's given us a great uh, Twit coupon code if you do uh, Twit Shark at scottyvest.com slash twit. Uh, you get 20% off any of the items uh, there. A lot of new items uh, as well. And I'm wearing, I'm all, as always, I'm always wearing Scotty Vest uh, gear. Hey, let's talk real quickly about Pond 5. This is a, a great um, idea. I really like it. They, um, you know, I mean, on the surface, it looks kind of like something you've seen before it's a stock media marketplace images but they also have video clips in fact more than a million 
uh, video clips. It just crossed the million mark. Wow, congrats. Yeah, 7.6 million photos, 681,000 illustrations. There's also music tracks, over 200,000 sound effects. And the reason there's so much stuff there and so many new things, 7,000 new video clips this week, is because this is a great place for creators as well as buyers. They let you set your own price and they pay at industry-leading royalty rates. So I want to encourage people who are creating video or audio or photos or illustrations to look at Pond5. And certainly, if you're doing PowerPoint presentations, videos of your own, you need music for them, uh, if you want pictures of sea lion pups, what what. <laughs> Whatever Anything. it is. You can think, if you can think of it, it's there. It is. Much. In fact, they also have, and you should probably uh, go visit them every week, they always have a free stock uh, footage clip. Now, one of the nice things about Pond5 is uh, once you pay the license fee, it's royalty-free. You can use it in any way you want as often as you want. You're, you know, the, the creator's been uh, uh, compensated and gives you the full rights. This is at 1080p when you get the... Uh, you have to add it to the cart and check out to download the file, and you won't. there won't be a watermark, obviously, in the one you've downloaded. Just think of how you could spice up your videos, uh, add great images. I love Pond5. I think you will, too. In fact, so much so that we've got range for an offer code for them, too. 25% off when you use the offer code TWIT25 on checkout at Pond5. So buy all the media you need, then use that offer code, and you'll save 25%. That's pretty amazing. Uh, ambience, animals, beats. I'm looking at all of the... Uh, you know, my son could probably use some of these loops mm -hmm. in here. There's just a ton of good stuff. Office and workplace. Uh, these are the sound effects. Just, and you can listen to these, by the way. Here, let me I'll play one for you. Somebody get that. Hey, oh a, answer the... Now, they, you hear the watermark in there. But you get to hear what it sounds like, which is great. I think these are... You know, I keep looking, looking for a good cash register. Listen. God, I hate that. Classic. It's, a, it's the one you want. And royalty-free. Royalty-free. Uh, if you are a content creator, again, uh, you're going to save a lot of money. Two bucks. Cash register. Two bucks for the cash register. Save a lot of money, and then you play the cash register. And then you play the cash You say, look at that. When you're a content creator, you play that cash register. You go, yeah, ka-ching. I said, <laughs> nothing, course. nothing happened. Yeah, ka-ching. Oh, I got to rewind it. Here we go. There we go. There we go. That's all the money I'm making at pond, pond5.com. Use the offer code TWIT25 to save 25%. Oh, this is a good one. You could use this. Pond5.com. You could, that would be so good to have that. The handshake happened. Isn't that? The handshake happened. Um, I just, I love all this stuff here. It's kind of fun just to browse around. Just go visit Pond5.com. We thank them for their support of triangulation. So you go through all this hell, Scott Jordan. Did they ever make you an offer? Indeed, they did. Yeah. Um, Robert uh, made me an offer for 15 uh, percent uh, of uh, Scotty Vest, which includes technology enabled clothing for five hundred thousand dollars. And my response, and this has got a lot of airtime, is um, without even thinking about it, I just said I, and I kind of pointed and but that's absurd. And <laughs> well, yelled. it is absurd. <laughs> You it me is. I mean, you know, Scotty Vest is, you know, was on path to do $12 million last right. year and, cl and clear $2 million. So you're saying that a company that is going to do $2 million in, in net profits is worth $3 million? That's well, absurd. You weren't saying he's insane. You were saying that offer is insane. And I think you're that, right. Yeah, and anyone who knows anything about business, you know, agrees. So, so you know, I had that offer, and then um, Kevin, who's the bald guy, is sitting in the middle, kind of the Simon Cal, the toughest shark until Cuban came along. Yeah, says I'll do that same offer with or without Robert. So in effect, giving me a million dollars for thirty percent of a company, and um, and so I had two offers on the table, and at this. At this point, I knew I was in trouble because I knew that they were only interested in Scotty Vest. And if I countered in any fashion uh, saying, listen, would you take would you, would you consider, you know, you know, valuing Scotty Vest at 15 million or starting some discussion of the value of Scotty Vest and that 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 unto itself potentially could have opened it up yeah. um, to the producers. And um, so I went back. I said, you know, at this point, I just needed to make some great TV. I'll be honest with you. I, I knew that I wasn't going to make a deal and I wanted to leave and have people remember me. 
And I think I accomplished that. So with that, I went back and I said, I need to make a, I said, I need to make a phone call to one of my advisors. And they yeah. said, who's your advisor? I said, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple. Um, I need to talk to Steve. The funny thing is, and the inside baseball thing is, is that before I said that, uh, Mark Cuban went on and on about, do you know how many patents Apple had before just recently? One. They only had one patent, and they made this multi-hundred billion dollar company with one patent. And I'm thinking to myself, that's well, that's BS. all I have. <laughs> that's all I have, and that's all I'm asking for. And yeah. by the way, later in the show, I'm going to be calling one of the guys who you know was involved with it, one of two guys that, was, that started the company. Jeez. So. So I go back at, before I did that. I said, I, I said to uh, Cubans, like, tell Waz I said hi. And I, oh, I yeah. turned to Kevin and I said, Kevin, would you like to tell Waz you said <laughs> hi too? Just, I'm just yanking his chain now. <laughs> I love now, it. The, 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 so I go back. I talk to Waz. It took like 15 minutes to get Waz on the phone because um, uh, he was in Jackson Hole and I'm nervous and blah, blah, blah. I get I Waz on the about phone. Because you got him on the phone really fast in the edited version. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, it, they were scrambling. I was really worried that I was going to have to go back into the tank and say, uh, I couldn't get Waz. <laughs> it right, would have looked like right. a good Yeah, right. so... Uh, Make a long story short, Waz, you know, says it was a stupid offer. I go back and they said, so what did Waz say? I turned to Cuban. And I said, Waz says hi. And I turned to Kevin and I said, Kevin, Waz doesn't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, I mean, I, now after so I got... Go ahead. I was being a little arrogant and, you know, I was just having some fun. And um, and then I and then they said, so what's what are you going to do? And I said, are you going to increase your offer or what are you going to do? And they said, and then Robert says, the way it works in the tank, Scott, is we make an offer and you either accept it or not. We don't you know, you don't get to tell us to raise our offer. And I said, all right. And I said, you're out and you're out. <laughs> and I, and, and, <laughs> You're like, off the everyone, island. <laughs> yeah. it, wow. was, it was pretty dramatic. It, now, you know. now, there was a little back and forth, though, after the show. This surprised me because uh, normally, yeah, you know, it's like this is all made up. This is acting. And, not, you know, you go out, you have a drink afterwards. But I think Mark took it a little more seriously. You guys were kind of going back and forth on Twitter, I think. Well, actually, there, there, there's even there's uh, something a little more entertaining. I, I want to get into that. But uh, okay. first, after 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 I said you're out, everyone didn't know it was like this pregnant pause. What do you do? I was going to yeah. walk out. Yeah. This, you know, the day I shook everyone's hands. Good. Mark Cuban right. and, and went down the line. I got to Robert. And Robert says to me, I'm not going to shake your hand. You pointed at me like I'm 12 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, I turned yeah. to him and I said, you know, I've been in business 20 years and I've never once had someone refuse to shake my hand. I turned my back and I said, I'm out of here. I don't need to put up with this crap. And and, and, and he in turn says, get out of here. And I'm like, you know how silly someone looks telling someone who I'm just leaving, turned their back? But okay. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm leaving. laughs> So I but, think that you did. I'm sure Mark Burnett's going and is in the control room going, yeah, yeah. I mean, you did stuff, exactly what you were. They would hope you would do. You were fun. It was pretty cool. I know that because after it's all said and done, they make you sit down and, and, and talk to a psychiatrist <laughs> to make sure you're OK. Really? And, wow. Yeah. And, and, you know, I thought that was over the top. But you think about it. You know, most people step in that room and they've got, you know, their houses on the line, their right. job, their life and, you know, everything. And they've just been abused by five, you know, venture capitalists or whatever they want to call themselves. And so, you know, it, it made sense. And she starts out by saying, Scott, you know, I, I just want to let you know, I represent the studio. I don't represent you, but you know, I'm here to see how you're doing. Um, and I also want to let you know that there's a pretty good chance, you know, we tape more than they air. There's, uh, you know, yours might not air. And I said, were you were you in the room when I when I gave my performance? And she says, yeah, of course. How, how am I going to sit in here and evaluate you if I wasn't in the room? <laughs> and I smiled and I said, what are the odds that's not going to air? Yeah. <laughs> and she she said, I'd get fired if you repeat this. And here I am. Um, but it would take a presidential announcement of war. <laughs> to <ramp that. laughs> no, it's exactly what they hope will happen. They want the conflict and all that. Um, Mark Cuban said he would invest in your competitor. Yeah. That's kind of low. Mark Cuban is... You a, should start a shadow company to compete with yourself and get his money. 
<laughs> well, Mark, the, the day after the airing, or, or Monday, just just a couple of days ago, um, you know, started going on his Twitter feed, just bad mouthing me. All the sharks did, and that's what I was a little offended by. I mean, every one of them, Barbara, even though her her people contacted me separately to represent me at QVC and Costco. Really? Um, oh, that's interesting, it, huh? Yeah, uh, we we already have representation, so I I I, I told her she was out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're never getting money uh, back. <laughs> uh, but uh, but but Cuban, just go to his Twitter feed. You can see he's just razzing me, telling me my patent is stupid. Any 12 year old could design it. Yeah. That you know, and then and then I, I I gave him a link to show him why my patent's important. This other company that I won't name, but you can. It, you know, you know, totally ripped our product off stitch for stitch every aspect of our garment with the exception of writing scotty vest you know they wrote their company name but the pocket system the layout the colors the icon the piping there there isn't a thing about the garments that you would see and think is different so we sued them after trying to settle with them you know uh, initially by contact he ordered we have a, a an email i sent you an email leo you can see you know, where we identify the, all the areas that they're similar it's a straight without the patent it's a trade dress claim when you see this garment you say it's a Scotty vest, right. and that is that's trade dress. And it's a legit, so, completely legitimate uh, avenue. That's the avenue Apple's using against Samsung. It looks it, the same. It's a copy. It's a, it's a, it is intentionally confusing, and if customers can see it and identify it with my product and my brand, so it's separate from patent. But it, to boot, he did violate the patent. But to, he thought he could get away with it instead of showing a, a cord going into the earbud pocket. Yeah. He puts change in there. He's yeah. like, no, it's designed to hold change. Yeah, you know, right, um, right. so. And, so I mean, he, it got pretty heated. You said, BS, you don't understand the test for what's patentable. Then you actually make a very good point. You say Levi's received a patent on rivet making, and it made Levi's what it is today. He says, you think you know more than patent examiners? So, you know, I, I, this is bizarre. Does this happen every time somebody's on Shark Tank that the sharks then go after them on Twitter? That is just bizarre. I, you know, and then Barbara's like, you know, women, can you imagine wearing this? And we have a lot of attractive women that wear our stuff. Including your including, wife. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. And Amy Tan and Heather Poole and, you know, a, a number of women. I mean, I don't think it's a risk that entrepreneurs know, you know, when they go on Shark Tank that if you piss off a, a shark that, you, you know, go you risk you. them. That, I, that's You tell me, honest, you tell me, gals, you tell me. I think uh, a gal that here, I don't know why I'm seeing that. There, thank you. I, a gal that wears that, that, that beautiful woman there, that looks good. That, by the way, that's Scott's wife. <laughs> and you call this the Molly. I love it. The Molly I mean, jacket. We... Wow. Look at so that. that looks good. I think a lot of women would would wear this. We we did extend Mark and Olive Branch today, and I'm disappointed. We sent him a transformer with a lovely note, calling yeah. you know asking him to you know bury the hatchet, and might he be interested in liking our stuff? And and you know we overnighted it through a mutual friend. Yeah, this is cool. Look at the runway here. That's great. This is what we used to do on the screensavers. We do our yeah, tech, you did. Our tech fashion show. We had a. Like Morgan and uh, and uh, Megan and everybody doing doing the modeling. That's fun. How fun, Scott. It's great to talk to you. I uh, I'm a big fan, as you know. I wear Scotty vest. I'm I'm telling you, I'm wearing your underwear, not your personal, but I'm wearing Scott <laughs> Scotty vest underwear right now. I always said for years, I said if Scott only made underwear, I'd wear that too, and uh, and he did. And then uh, now I have to wear it. But it's good. It's good underwear. I love it. Uh, you don't make socks. It's got an iPhone pocket. It do it does. There's a little. Now, people, here's the thing. People may be like, why would I want a pocket for my iPhone and my underwear? I'll tell you a very uh, safe-for-work example. There are plenty okay. of unsafe-for-work examples, yes, I'm, I'm sure. I'm curious to hear this. But when I go jogging yes. and I'm mm -hmm. listening to a podcast or an audio book exactly. and I come back in and I'm still listening you can and I want to change out of my, my clothes that I'm jogging in, right. I have nowhere to put the phone. Right. So I... You can stick it in the underwear pocket. Scooter X we, said in our chat room says he has. He says I've counted and I have ten Scotty Vest products, none of which are underwear. But I, I, I think I have everything you ever made because Scott's been very generous and sends me stuff when uh, new stuff comes out, including some some one of a kind stuff. I know every year you make a leather jacket; those are gorgeous. Um, there's just so much great stuff. 
we're we're out of time. I wanted to talk a little bit about the garment business. It's got to be a killer, a difficult business. I'd, I'd love to come back on sometime. Good. I mean, there's a lot of legal issues. Um, you know, somebody in China registered the brand name Scotty Vest. I don't. Aye, aye, aye. I'm experiencing the same thing Apple is with the iPad. Right. You know, and and you know, there's a lot of interesting things. Um, anytime you want, Leo. I, I love Good. your show. I love. I love the your your fan base. They're terrific. Oh, they and well, they love your stuff. I think. Uh, I think it, it's kind of part of being a, in the Twit audience. You got to have some Scotty Vest uh, gear. And, we, and again, I'm going to give you the offer code again. If you go to scottyvest.com slash twit, how long are you going to keep that going, uh, Scott? Um, gonna... We'll keep it going through uh, Monday. Okay, so you've got a few days. Scottyvest.com is that, is that enough? Twit. You want you want a yeah. little longer? Or? No, no, that's fine. Um, it's, and it's 20% off, not 25% off. Uh, 20%, we, just, we just upped your offer. <laughs> I'm going to offer you half a million dollars for 15%. It's t- You're out. The lower third is wrong. It's 20% off, but you do have to use Twit Shark. Twit Shark, uh, there we go on uh, checkout. And look at there's the there's the uh, fleece. You're still making those. Those are great. I love those. That's the uh, zipper fleece. The jacket. I also have a pullover, mm-hmm. a hat. We just that's love cool. That. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. It's great to talk to you. Thank you you so did. Much. You know what? Enjoy. You know it. You did great. That was a that was a fun episode of Shark Tank. I think you did fine. And those other guys are just jerks. Just jerks. They can't invest. Thanks. They can't invest. They they tch, ridiculous. If, I, Leo, you will particularly like it. Promise me you'll watch the episode from beginning. Yeah, just all I sec- could see was this little ch- chip, uh, two forty one, two minutes forty one seconds. I have to download it on iTunes to get the whole thing because that's all ABC. Of course, ABC does. I don't understand. Don't put the whole anyway. They don't put the whole episode on there. But uh, they actually do. They actually well, do. I'm, ABC. I, dot- if you go to scottyvest.com and click, I click the link and I got two got? minutes and 41 yeah. seconds. So maybe I'm doing it. I'm doing, I'm holding it. Wrong I think there are two YouTube. versions. There's a highlighted version and the full uh, one. Uh, <laughs> I want to see the whole thing. Thank you very much, Leo. I appreciate Scott, it. Thank great you. Great to talk to you. Scottyvest.com. Scott E. Jordan. It's great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. And uh, thank you all for being here. We've got a, I think we're all booked up for the next four or five weeks of triangulation of some great guests uh, coming up, who else? Who else is? Uh, just, is I guess we're going to talk about Kiva next week. That'll Matt. be great. Uh, Matt from Kiva, uh, the CEO of Task Rabbit. The CEO, oh, Leah Busky of uh, of Task Rabbit. She's great. Um, Katarina Fake. Oh, I love Katarina. She came up with the acronym FOMO. Hmm. We were talking about that with Gina Trapani. A fear of missing out. We were talking about that with South by Southwest. Don't have FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> No mo FOMO. She founded Flickr, of course. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you uh, for uh, being here, uh, Tom. I, I know it's been a long day. I appreciate it. Oh, likewise. No, this is a, a fun show. I, yeah, I love Yeah, it's always fun. Thanks to our guest, Scott Jordan. Thanks to you for watching. We do Triangulation every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern time on Twit.tv. And there are many episodes for you to download if you just go to Twit.tv slash T-R-I. We'll see you next time on Triangulation.